Hey guys, it's Monsal with Nutripedia, and today we're going to talk about fish oil. So for a brief overview, fish oil is pretty self-explanatory. It's the oil that's in fish, and it's really important because it has omega-3 fatty acids, and specifically DHA and EPA. And these fatty acids are found only in fish and krill and things of that nature, you can't really find it in flax seed. So it's really important that you have some kind of either fish in your diet or a fish oil supplement. Now the benefits of using this is that it helps to reduce inflammation. So a lot of people have diets that are way too filled with omega-6 fatty acids. The standard American diet's about 20 to 1 of ratio of omega-6 to omega-3s. So it's really important to have omega-3 fatty acids in your diet for inflammation. It helps as a neuroprotective agent to protect some of the neurological connections in your brain. And it's also uh, relatively free of side effects as well. So let's talk about the benefits and the side effects. So for the benefits of fish oil, like I said, you've got inflammation and neuroprotection. Now the reason to get a little more sciency that these two are helpful is, uh, so DHA and EPA are the main fatty acids that come from the fish oil. Now DHA actually gets converted in the body to a molecule that few people have heard of called MNPD1. Now, it, that's really irrelevant for you, but the point is this is a molecule that helps to both reduce inflammation in the brain and help to protect your neurological connections. So this has applications for both healthy adults and people who are the elderly. It's being used currently to help treat early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and senile dementia, and there's a host of other benefits that can come to young adults as well. Uh, when it comes to uh, depression and anxiety, there's a lot of research that suggests fish oil is helpful to, to solve many of those symptoms. In fact, there's 23 studies that show fish oil is helpful to prevent symptoms of depression. And there's actually one study where there were uh, medical students who were working tirelessly to get their uh, medical degree and their internships, and they were given 2,500 100 milligrams of fish oil, which is a relatively large dose, and they were able to note a reduction in anxiety by 20%. So the benefits of using fish oil are pretty profound, and that's because, honestly, we as humans were meant to be taking some type of fish oil, these omega-3 fatty acids, uh, whether it be through our food, through fish or algae, or whether it be through supplemental form like we can use today. So let's talk about the side effects. So the side effects of fish oil aren't actually really all that problematic for most people. Like I said, we have evolved as humans to use omega-3 fatty acids in our day-to-day -day lives. We, are, we used to live near rivers so that we can drink fresh water, and that came with a lot of fishing and eating fatty acids that came from, from fish. Today, we have a, a really big imbalance in our diets. Many people who eat a standard American diet have a, a ratio of 20 omega-6 to 1 omega-3, and it creates a lot of imbalances in the brain and the body. And of course, one of the side effects of using fish oil, especially at a high dose, is that it can cause some types of problems, at least as far as gastrointestinal distress. People who take a lot of fish oil or uh, these uh, krill oil supplements can note that their stomach becomes upset. They might be a little bit nauseous uh, as well. So that's one thing to consider. Another uh, important thing to consider is oftentimes um, it's rare, but it's possible to have uh, gout come up through something like krill oil because it is a crustacean. And it's, like I said, very rare, but it is a possibility. So a standard dosage of fish oil is in the range of around 1,000 milligrams of DHA and 500 milligrams of EPA. And it's really important that you look at the labels of any products that you are interested in buying because oftentimes omega-3s from fish oil 
don't have the DHA or EPA as high as you might want them. So keep those specific doses in mind. Now, another thing to consider is krill oil is a great source of both e EPA and DHA, but it also has a molecule called astaxanthin, and this it has a number of other uh, neuroprotective effects and cognitive effects. But you also want to use krill oil because it has enhanced absorption, which means that you don't actually have to take a lot of the compound in order to get as much of the, the DHA and the EPA absorbed into your brain and your body. So. One of the products that I personally recommend, and as you can tell, I'm empty right now, is the Pure Nootropics Krill Oil. It's a product that has, um, like I said, it has the, the, DHA, the DHA and EPA directly in the label. You can take a look at it. I actually prefer to take twice the recommended dose here. Um, so I take four capsules a day instead of two, but it's my, it's my daily product that I use for DHA and EPA, and I recommend it for you as well. So if you're interested in reading more about it, you can click the link above. If you're not, just ignore this. Love you guys.